What's up everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna break down how we've created this commercial. We'll talk about the lighting, cinematography, and how we composed and tailor-made an original song for this commercial and how we shot the whole thing in a green screen studio. But before we jump in, we want to show you the full commercial and then we're going to dive deep into everything. Looking for the best music for your videos? Mm -hmm. Then you should check out Artlist. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you freedom. And the license covers everything. Go to artists now and start creating. In this commercial, we really wanted to bring our musicians to the forefront. So we have our editor sitting on her desk and searching for the perfect song. And when she finds it and hits play, suddenly the band comes up on the window behind her and performs the song live. What's unique about this video is that we've created an original song from scratch for this specific commercial in order to support our messages and values and to convey it in the best way possible. And the musicians performing in the actual video are actually the artists that created the original song. Our main value in this commercial was freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you freedom. And to be even more specific, a creative freedom to express yourself. The song needed to have that kind of energy, so we went with something that was upbeat, carefree, funky, and happy. When it comes to the lyrics of the song, we wanted to convey the messages, but not in a literal way. So let's take, for example, So Fresh, So New. That specific lyric was referring to our music catalog being updated daily. So fresh, so new. Another example would be, it's all for you. Everything we do here at Artlist is for the creators that use the platform. So you can see how the lyrics and melody support the messages we wanted to convey and how they bring everything together into one piece. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel with that notification bell on. We are creating more content like this just for you guys, so don't miss out. Now let's dive into the actual production. We decided to shoot in a green screen studio to create the effect of the band coming up the window. We built a set wall with a window to divide the studio into two sections, the editor's room and the outside. We decided to shoot the two setups separately and then composite them together in post-production meaning shooting only the editor without the band in the background in the first half of the day and then deconstructing the set wall and gaining the full flexibility of the green screen studio and shooting the band separately on a green screen in the second half of the day. That allowed us the option to really focus on each scene separately and gave us the flexibility of choosing the best takes out of each setup. When working with musicians on set, it's important to take into consideration that these people are not actors and it will take more time and effort to get the reactions you're looking for. To overcome this obstacle, what you can do is try to bring them the energy of a live performance. Talk with them, feel them out, and try to think what can make them feel like they're performing live. You can get excited and try to be crazy on set or maybe bring big speakers on set to make them feel like they're surrounded in that big sound system that they're used to on our live performance. The key is to make them feel like they're performing live in order to get those reactions you were looking for. For the color palette in this production, we went with a lot of yellows, which is the Artlist brand color. You can see the curtains, the couch, the chair, and even our actress is wearing a yellow jacket. We also have some blues and greens to give that nice color contrast. Now, if you're a brand or an influencer, 
Always take your color palettes into consideration when creating your videos. Now let's talk about the lighting settings. In the editor's room for the fill light, we had two LED panels hanging from the ceiling with a big diffuser and a black skirt to focus the light and control the light spills. For the key light, we had a white solid on the PC monitor projecting soft light onto our subject's face. And for the hair light, we had an Astera tube set on tungsten to match the practical lights on set. We also had the RE sky panel set on a blue color with the diffuser in front of it, shining through the window and simulating moonlight to match the nighttime city look we were going for. For the reverse shot, we had to light both the band and the editor. For the editor, we just moved the Astera light with the diffuser for the key light. And for the band, we had the RE sky panel for the moonlight and for the key light, we had stage lights hanging from the ceiling set on tungsten. For the green screen, we simply had two lantern lights hanging from the ceiling to give us an even lighting for an easy key in post-production. And we added some Astera tube lights set on daylight temperature to add some hair light on the band. And if you want to learn how to work with the green screen properly, we made a video just for that and we linked it in the description below, so check it out. So that's it. If this video helped you out, slapity slap that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel with that notification bell on because like we've said before, we are creating more content just for you guys and you really don't want to miss out. Now, let's talk about that giveaway. One lucky winner will win a one-year free subscription to the ArtGrid Junior plan. If you don't know what ArtGrid is, it's our unlimited stock footage platform. Link in the description below, you can go and check it out right now. And here is the winner from our last giveaway. Congratulations to you, my friend. Until the next time, stay creative.